This presentation is on the Office 365 address book for building your contact list and locating and contacting other AIC 365 users. I'll point out the differences between Outlook and first class address books throughout the presentation. Open your address book under the people link in the toolbar at the top of your screen. And here you will see my contact list. To add a contact, hit new in the upper left corner of the screen and then choose create a contact. And I will create a contact now. You'll want to include your contacts email address. And you may want to include some additional details about your contact. Then when you save your contact, she will appear right there in your contact list. You can also create an email group, also known as a distribution list. Again, we'll want to click new, then create group. I'll name the group. And from there, I can just add members either by their email address or by typing their name directly into AIC's global address list. Once I save my group, my group has appeared in my contact list. When I take a look at it, I see the group name, all at T, and I see the three group members I have added to the group. If I want to contact that group directly, all I need to do when I start a new email is find my group, and they will appear right there in the two line. Once you send the message, everyone on your contact list will receive that message. As with Outlook, your address book contains a list of all AIC students, faculty, and staff. I will leave my personal contact list, move down to directory, and choose the offline global address list. Right now you're looking at my training list from your own accounts. You will see the list of everyone at AIC. Once I'm looking at the entire global address list from the top search bar, I can locate the contact that I need. And here's my contact, Paula Ames, and all of her personal information. Once you've located that person from the icons in the gray toolbar, I can send an email directly to my contact and I will just send her something quick. Paula Ames will receive my email. Next icon, I can invite Paula Ames to a meeting or an event and this is something that you are also able to do from your Outlook calendar. Paula Ames will receive my meeting invitation. And the third icon down, I can send an instant message directly to that contact. Again, I will do something quickly. Once my contact has received the notification of my chat and she replies, once she has received my notification, and here's Paula's chat. Quick reply. And then notice I have a quick reply directly back from Paula. This completes the presentation on the Office 365 address book. Additional presentations focus on using Outlook email, 
the Office 365 calendar and OneDrive.